Future Co. popping in. This video is in collaboration with Gothic Jewelry. I worked with them before. If you are unfamiliar with Gothic, Gothic is a diverse collection of Gothic and occult jewelry, metal and pagan style jewelry materials that range from stainless steel, copper, silver, tin, all high quality and handmade. I got another set of rings here and if you guys are curious about them and my discount code, I will share that with you guys a little later in the video, but for now I'll throw it back to pass me and my, my thrift haul that you guys are going to love, okay? I'll see you later. <laughs> hi! Hello! Hi! My name is Ko and welcome back to my spooky corner of the internet. I went shopping. I went shopping. I got some stuff and I kind of want to sh- Don't! I got some stuff and I kind of want to show you guys. I went to Buffalo Exchange, which is a consignment shop. Lately, I feel like Buffalo has been getting kind of expensive. I feel like that's every single thrift store, every Goodwill, every consignment shop in California. It's just like, what if instead of paying $5, you paid $20 for that thing? What, what if? What if you did? What if in this economy? That being said, if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to leave them a thumbs up. If you are interested in thrift hauls, in antiquing, all things spooky, goth, then please do subscribe to the channel. So that way you're here, you don't miss another one of my videos and you're part of our little spooky community. I picked up at the very last minute when I was checking out, this little coffin shape ring. It has little black diamonds on the side. I don't know, I'm using my phone to record so it's probably not gonna focus on it, but it doesn't quite fit me the best ten dollars around that eight eight dollars something like that first things first you've probably seen me wear it in this video right here where i'm reacting to the 1994 crow and if that's something that interests you then i will leave a card up above so you can check out that video this top is so cute this was non-debatable i was gonna get it this is a Killstar shirt. It's from Killstar. This says it's a size small, which is actually surprising. This fits like a large on me. I don't want to be one of those people that are like, oh, I'm so small. Oh, I'm just a little tiny little jelly bean. Like, but uh, alas, I am trapped in the body of a chihuahua. And it has these little buckle details on it. And I like the mesh netting sleeves. It's so pretty. It's so perfect. It's effortless. I believe that was like $17. Boys, no, 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 no. Next thing is, and it still has a tag on it. I always say 90s goth, 90s vampire goth, but that is my favorite era of goth. It's lots of reds and blacks, and this dress encapsulates that kind of shift fabric that it's one color and it's also another, so it's red and black at the same time. Never have I loved the garment as much as I love this one. This was $15. I'm not a medium, but I can take it in with my sewing machine. I love this fabric. I love shift fabrics. More garments need to be made out of it. Imagine walking in a Walmart with this on. I don't actually have to imagine because that's like literally the only store here. <laughs> you guys might have seen this dress in Goth Date Valentine's Day. That's how far back I got these clothes. <laughs> you guys might have seen this dress in that video where I threw it together with the corset. So beautiful. It has this damask print on it. Not embossed, but like, you know when like you like stamp fabric heat or something like that? Specifically velvet. It's like that kind of pattern. Someone commented in that video that it's giving Ada Wong. Yeah, I love me some Ada Wong. I love it. I love the vibes. A criteria of being goth. You need as much velvet as you can get your hands on. I feel like that's a prerequisite. I feel like that just, it comes with the territory. I don't know the price of that dress either. I think that was like $10. Okay, I got this. Anyone that's like around my age, like 30, y'all y'all remember Charlotte Ruse? There's no more Charlotte Ruse. Charlotte Ruse was that bitch. Is this not giving c It's It's so c It's a cream colored corset, beautiful black embroidered flowers going down the front. And also there's these cute little like gems, like sewn on. I like how breathable this is and not thick. I mean, that also compromises the structure. It's not as structurally integral as my other corsets, but this is like a course that you can wear in during the summer. Don't remember how much it costs. So real fast, just let me show you guys what I got 
from Gothic. It's like a haul within a haul, so it's like Hallception. I picked out three for myself and one for my partner because it is almost my partner's birthday. So the first thing that I got is the vintage spider ring in the stainless steel style. So this is what it looks like. It's super cool. I love it. This one's $31 and I got this in a size 5. All the jewelry besides the one I got for my partner are all in a size 5. But it's so hard for me to find jewelry that like fits my, my hands, so. This is the vampire coffin ring in stainless steel. I think, I'm pretty sure they had a purple one. There's a little vampire! As per usual, this is such a nice, big, thick ring. That was $28, and the next ring I got is the Lucifer Sigil ring. This is currently $25.30. Isn't this so cool? Lucifer Sigil is around both sides of the ring and on the front. Last but not least, this is the ring that my partner picked out. This is the eight point star ring in the color silver and gold. Uh, this is what it looks like. There's gold all around. So yeah, that's all the jewelry that I picked up. And if you guys are interested in getting yourself something or a friend or partner of yours, something from Gothic, I will leave the link down below to their website. And also don't forget to use my code GETSPOOKY20 for 20% off of your order. Thank you so much and I'll throw it back again once more to pass me the drama with this piece this is so gorgeous this was $16 I don't know how I got my hands on this I'm way too short <laughs> this literally like goes on the ground and then some but this is the kind of outfit or dress thing that you wear when like your husband mysteriously dies and you go to greet the police at the front door float down the staircase or frolic down the stairs in something like this this is what it's giving. It's giving widow. It's giving, did she do it? It's always a spouse, but did she? Here's the brand name. This is in a size small and this was $16. It has these velvet details all along the back of it. Ends of the sleeve too. It has these sleeves. Bury me in this, bury me in this. Next thing, we have another Killstar piece. This is a mermaid floor length skirt from Killstar. So yeah, this isn't a size medium. Definitely have to take this in, but the pattern, a bunch of symbols on it. And yeah, I like that it's floor length. I like that the bottom is like asymmetrical. I don't remember how much this, this was one of the more expensive items. I think this was 20 something. Last thing that I got from Buffalo, I love punk music also. I grew up playing a lot of Tony Hawk Pro Skater, so like by proximity, I became a fan of punk music. I don't claim to be a punk. Also love metal music by obviously a lot of the music reacts that I do. Anyways, my music interests aside, I love a good like punk fit. This cute plaid skirt with like tool underneath. It's like a rib cage. So cool. It has suspenders on it. This reminds me of something that Nana would wear from like the anime Nana. This was $14.50, so to give black stones vibes. Well, that's the end of the video, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff that I got from Buffalo. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite item was. If you like these kinds of videos, like I said, you love hauls, you love thrifting, all that good stuff, leave me a thumbs up so I know to keep making more of these for you guys. If you'd like, please subscribe to the channel so that way you're part of our little spooky community here on YouTube and I would love to have you here. And if you'd like to see more of me, you can follow me on all my socials. Um, they will be linked down below in the description box and right here on the screen. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you, do you think the spinach is still okay? Spinach? Yeah. It said keep refrigerated, but I forgot to put it in the refrigerator. Beetlejuice. There he is. <laughs> do you guys ever like, you have your pet, right? And then you have your name for your pet, but then somehow your pet name gets turned into some weird version, some weird nickname. So Beetlejuice's nickname is Beefaroni. What are you doing? Ow! Beetlejuice, that is not nice. You're really living up to your name. Hey. Do y'all see this? Violence. Violence.
No! Hey! Hey, stop it! Oh my god! Children, am I right? It's so hard being a parent.